Hey everybody, Kelly Atchison at estampabub.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Facebook Live Sunday evening. It's August 19th and we are going to be having some fun tonight. I've got some great projects in store for you. Hi Anne Marie. <clears throat> Welcome. Kelly's watching. Jamie's watching. You guys tell me where you're coming from. Arliss is watching. Becky, hello. Welcome. We have some exciting stuff going on tonight. I have been busy in my stamping office all day today. And um, I've even come up with some stuff for next weekend. So, I know that there were... Um, there was some question about whether I was going to be doing a one sheet wonder tonight and I wanted to tell you that I do plan on doing a one sheet wonder but it's something that I really need a little bit more time to get together so I am not doing one sheet wonder tonight but I will have one coming to you soon hi Linda hi Kathy hi Suzette Kelly from Oshkosh Jan hi Jan so what I'm going to do is, let's see, I have um, some swap cards I can share with you tonight. <clears throat> Hang on a second, I will get those out. I have turned my, I turned on my mirroring on my phone so everything won't be backwards. And it's a little freaky because while I want to go this way, I feel like I'm going that way. <laughs> Pretty weird. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Heather. See, Heather's going to be on vacation pretty soon. Woohoo! Sarah. I was chatting with Sarah earlier today. She's working on lesson plans. Christine from Minnesota. Welcome. Oh, hey, as long as we're talking about Minnesota, um, I posted a stamping um, event that is going to be happening, I believe, on October 13th in my hometown of Nielsville, Wisconsin. Now, Nielsville is in the center of, pretty much the center of Wisconsin, and that's where I'm originally from. I got an email from my downline and good friend Cindy Ellers from Nielsville, and there's a gal coming in from Minnesota that's going to be putting on an event, and it is open for um, demonstrators and customers. We're going to be making 18 cards. I think it runs from, mm, I want to say, 9 to 3 um, on October 13th at the Nilsville Country Club. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you are a customer, um, make sure when you fill out the form that you put me down as your demonstrator. If you're a demonstrator, put yourself down as the demonstrator. And I hope we'll get some people coming. I know that um, Sarah's from Minnesota. She said she would like to come and she asked if she could bring a friend. And of course, as many people sign up until the event is full. So I'm super excited about that. And it just so happens that I will be in Nilsville um, that weekend anyways. It's October 6th, Arliss. Okay, I'm sorry. I, are you sure? No, now that has me confused. So I'll see if I can find it here. Um, anyways, we've got an event in October. I have a class reunion the same weekend, unless I've messed up the date. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for the share, Heather. Um, I'm going to find that information. Here we go. It's right here. And, okay, hang tight. I want to make sure I'm giving you the correct information. Hi, Mary. Hi, Bonnie. Welcome. Okay, the event. I'm just opening the event flyer here. Oh, it is October 6th. Oh, boy. Is that the weekend of my class reunion? I don't know, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> so, October 6th. Thank you, Arliss, very much. Um, in Nilsville. So, okay. I'm just going to show some, whoops, see how it's weird. It's weird when I'm mirroring. I've got some swap cards, and these are from the Alaskan Cruise. These are more swaps that I didn't share with you. Hi, Carol. Hi, Lisa. I know, aren't they pretty? So pretty. I just love this. Remember, we named him Frank. Frank Lee, if I recall correctly. Oh, and look at this. This is that new deer set that's in the annual catalog. Isn't that neat? I just think that's very interesting. Here's another great idea. 
Hi, Shelly. Welcome. Pretty Christmas card. Hi, Diane. Isn't this gorgeous? I just thought this was so, so pretty. It uses that tufted embossing folder. Hi, Carol. Hi, Patricia. Here's another one. Isn't this pretty? Just beautiful. And another one. Hi, Shelby. Hi, Sandy. Shelby, I see that you were um, camping this weekend. Good for you. I actually was in Millsville. Um, my mom had a birthday party for my brother. And I went over yesterday and I came back last night. And when I got home, I probably went to bed at like 10.30 and slept till about 8. So I must have been pretty tired. Look at this. <clears throat> I just took it out of the envelope. This is one of those... <clears throat> excuse me butterfly cards here that pops through that front like we made one of those remember that beautiful Diane I love that tufted folder too thank you Donna for the share yeah Shelly wasn't this the, um, the sailboat silhouettes where'd that card go just a great idea right this is a super simple card to make but it's just so stunning hi Susan from Marshfield and Shelby said she had a great time camping, so good to know. Here's a pretty Christmas card. Oh, I already showed you this one. Oh, I think I'm done. <laughs> That's it. That was my pile of cards that I didn't get to show you yet, so I wanted to make sure that I showed you. What do I have here? Here's one more. I don't know what this is. Let me look. Hmm. This is a little different. Okay, so here's... Whoops. Here's a wedding card, and it's actually got a belly band on it. Oh, look how pretty that is. And then it opens like this. So just very different, right, with the belly band on it. Hi, Kathy from Australia. Hi, Kathy from Ohio. Carol, welcome. Okay, let me get this put back together here. Let me see who made this. Yeah, I think this lady's from France. Moira McElroy. So pretty, pretty card. All right, let me um, get you started here with what's happening. At, I believe, 7.45, I have a blog hop with the control freaks that's going live on my blog. So I had a lot of stuff to get done before I could, could call it like, okay, I'm ready. Um, blog hop on my blog tonight, so that's cool. And... Um, we're hopping with the Control Freaks, which is always a fabulous hop. Make sure you check out my blog. Blog address is right here. Yeah, see this mirroring thing really kind of freaks me out because I'm doing this and it's going the opposite way. <laughs> so weird. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, I have a brand new online class and we'll talk about that a little more. It is on my blog and I posted it on Saturday morning. It's using the Tranquil Texture Suite with the Sea of Textures, the octopus, frankly. It features um, nine total cards. Usually my online classes have eight cards, but I've got eight cards and a bonus card. I've also got links to other cards that I've made with the Sea of Texture Suite. And if you, you can get the online class for free when you purchase the bundle from me. And if you, um, or you can pay $20 for it, uh, whichever you prefer. And if you purchase the bundle, you get the class for free. And I'll also give you 10 project sheets for, um, for free with 10 other ideas. So just a gazillion ideas for the Sea of Textures um, bundle. And it's a beautiful bundle. And I know some people say, well, like, I'm really not into octopuses. The octopus is just one element in that bundle and if you don't want to stamp with Frank Lee that's fine you don't have to there's some other very elegant images in there and we've made cards without the octopus that are just so so pretty so I hope you'll check that out um, I have a brand new class coming next Saturday online class with the blended seasons seasons bundle and we're gonna be using that to make one of the cards tonight um, that bundle is only available until August 31st and then it's gone um, it also has available with it an assortment number two of watercolor pencils and there's some beautiful new colors in there so watch for my new online class next weekend um, 
Uh, if you would like to, I have a lot of people that are ordering from me like every month and that's fabulous. Um, but if you want to maximize what you're doing, you could join my VIP club. All you have to do is place an order of a minimum of $25 once a month for six consecutive months and you get to choose $30 in product at the end of that period of your choice. So um, join my on on, online stamping club. I call it my VIP online stamping club. You'll find details um, right by my signature on every blog post that I have on my blog. And it's just a good way to get some free stuff from me. And then once a month, I send you a instruction card with a technique on it and um, a card using that technique. So you get, you get something and you also get to order product that, that you're going to use. So it's pretty cool. I'm stuttering a lot tonight. I don't know why. Did you guys see the meal? Hi, Steve Atchison. <laughs> Did you guys see the meal I just posted on my Facebook page that my husband made for me tonight? Oh my gosh, I am so full. I feel like I'm going to go into a food coma. <laughs> he says, Kelly, you have corn and chicken in your teeth. So when we started eating, he's like, yeah, I got this done all on time. Everything came out just perfect timing wise. You'll even have time to pick the corn out of your teeth. So isn't he just so... <laughs> So sweet to think of me that I would get the corn out of my teeth before I had to go live. <laughs> yes, um, Kathy, that's what we also heard. We got an email saying that the assortment number two watercolor pencils will only be available until the end of August. We weren't sure about those. So that's, that's the message that we got too. And Suzette, you want him to cook for you? I'm sure he would love to cook for you. That meal was delicious. Um... Let's see, if you don't have a demonstrator and you're watching me, you need new catalogs, I would be happy to get them to you. If you do have a demonstrator, you wanna contact your demonstrator to get your catalogs, but if you don't have a new a demonstrator, I'd be happy to send you catalogs. For those of you that may not have seen the post, if you are local to me, the holiday mini catalogs are available for pickup anytime on my front porch. You can stop by anytime you want and grab one. Um, if you're not local, you should be receiving them any day in your um, mailbox from me. Hi, Elizabeth from Marshfield, I believe. Terry, Carrie. Um, also, there are still openings for on stage as of the last report I got from Stampin' Up. We are having an on stage um, event in Orlando, Florida in November for all Stampin' Up! demonstrators and that includes anybody who wants to become a discount shopper under me. Uh, it's a great, great benefit to take advantage of. You spend $99 to buy the starter kit. You get to choose $125 in product of your choice and you will continue to be um, active as a discount shopper until the end of December without any other purchases, but you do get a 20% discount on all your future purchases. So um, something to consider because it's a really good deal. That would also uh, qualify you to go to on stage in Orlando, Florida, a big stamping event. It's um, three days, three days, yeah, three days of fabulous fun, learning about all kinds of new techniques and demonstrations and and um, it's just really fabulous. Shelby rece received hers. Good for you, Shelby. Woohoo! Sandy's going to try and find me at On Stage. That's awesome. Please do. If you see me at On Stage, please come up and talk to me no matter what's going on. I would love to meet you in person. Um, let's see. Bonus days. We still have bonus days till the end of the month for every $50 that you spend in my store or placing an order with me, um, you get a $5 coupon good towards your order in September. And that brings me to another thing, another idea or issue. Um, I just want all of you to know that if you're not comfortable placing an order online, I would be more than happy to put your order in for you. I do have orders going in every Thursday. So if you would like to email me with an order or call me with an order, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, because I know some people just aren't comfortable with placing online orders. I'm happy to do that for you. We have a really cute Halloween paper pumpkin kit coming up um, for our September kit. Is it September? Yeah, September. 
and um, you can subscribe to Paper Pumpkin before September 10th to get that kit. It's coming in a really cute little box too. And let's see, da, 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 da. we only have two and a half weeks before that new holiday mini catalog goes live and I am super excited. I have been making swap cards like a crazy person. I've been making swap cards, I've been farming out swap cards because I have some people that help me with that. And um, yeah, it's swap card season for Stampin' Up! Demonstrators. All right, I'm gonna get to our winners from our drawings last week. Now remember, if you didn't hear me or didn't get on right away, um, share my video. That gets you an entry into a drawing for free Stampin' Up! product from me. And uh, oh, Linda just signed up for Paper Pumpkin and doesn't even have grandkids here. Well, you'll love, I love these kits. I have a blast with them. Suzette just got her holiday order. Suzette is one of my discount shoppers. You also get to order early, a month early, from any new um, mini catalogs or promotions coming out from Stampin' Up! So that's kind of cool, too. We, that's how we get our hands on all this stuff. Um, Jean loves this month's Paper Pumpkin. I did, too. I, I had a blast with the August one. It was really fun. Thank you guys for the share. You can click on the share button right now and share this video. It won't take you away from me because we don't want that, right? <laughs> All right. Um, oh, I know. I was going to tell you guys about, I'm looking for my, my live right now so that I can keep up with um, things once I turn my phone. Oh, <laughs> I need to refresh my screen because it's not there. But um Earlier this week, on Monday, my husband and I set off on a road trip, and we've never done that before, and, you know, he's retired right now, so um, the timing doesn't matter, and I worked my little butt off to get everything ready to go before, I, before we left so that I would be working while I was gone. And um, we headed over to La Crosse, which is, uh, we're on the east side of the state. La Crosse is on the far west side of the state. We followed the Great, um, Great River Highway up the Mississippi River. And we, you know, stopped in little towns here and there. And we went all the way to Dubuque, Iowa. And we stayed in this charming, charming little hotel. It probably had maybe 10 rooms. It was right on the Mississippi River in Gutenberg, Iowa. And it was, yes, I'm plugged in, Linda. Thank you. Thank you guys for looking out for me. No, Char, we did not go on the bike. That's a whole different ball game. We took the car. Um, and we got to this little hotel. Well, I called the hotel. It was a hotel that um, my husband's dad, my father-in-law, had stayed at on this road trip that he did a few years ago. And so um, my husband texted him and said, where did you stay when you came to Dubuque? And he told us he stayed at The Landing in Gutenberg. And so I called the landing and asked if they had any rooms available. And the guy, and if, well, first of all, when I called the number, it said, please dial this number if you're looking for a room. So I called the next number. And um, yes, they did have a room. So I said, okay, we'll be there shortly. Well, we got to the hotel and walked in the front and there's nobody there. And um, so there's a, there's a sign on the desk that said, for assistance, dial this number. So I picked up the phone on the desk and I called the number and, and the guy says, okay, so I want you to walk around behind the desk and on the second shelf down, you'll see this white box. And inside that white box, you're gonna find key cards for all the rooms that are available and cards behind them telling how much each room costs. And you can take all those key cards and go around to every room and see which one you like the best because they were all a little different. And um, pick one out, fill out the card, leave it on the desk and we'll settle up in the morning. <laughs> I was like, oh funny. You got to love small town, right? Small town, Iowa. It was so cute. And the room was so charming. And um, it was just a really nice experience. We sat out on the balcony and we could watch the barges go up the Mississippi River. So that was really cool. And the next morning we um, went downstairs and they had a binder full of local menus. And my husband says, pick out some place to eat breakfast. So I grabbed this little tiny cafe. Well, I didn't know it was so tiny, but it was pretty tiny. Um, and the prices on it were like $4.95 for eggs and toast. I'm like, that's where we're going. So we drive by this little cafe, and my husband's like, you sure you want to go there? I'm like, yeah, I want to go to that tiny little cafe because it was really, really little. And it was still in Gutenberg. And um, we walked in the cafe. It probably had six tables in it. And then, of course, the counter with the stools at it, just like an old-time cafe. It was very clean, very nice. 
And here on the wall were pictures of President Obama was in that cafe back in 2011, um, an unannounced stop for lunch. So could you imagine having this tiny little cafe called Rausch's and the President of the United States walks in to have lunch? <laughs> Oh my gosh, how crazy. But anyways, it was really good. The food was great. Our bill was like, I don't know, $12. It was it was awesome. We had a really good time on the trip. Um, we learned some things. Like I think we do a little more research before we did a road trip like that again because we really didn't know what we were doing. We were just driving places and didn't really know what to do. But it was nice to get away and we didn't kill each other. So that's always a bonus. We both came home alive. Um... So yeah, that was my week. It was really fun. Um, let's see, my daughter moved into a new apartment um, on Wednesday, so she's getting herself settled in there, and she starts her new job here pretty soon, too. So lots going on in her life. And um, my Anna is doing well with her new real estate job. She absolutely loves it. And Steph and the boys are doing great, too. So everybody's good. Everybody's, everybody's good. Okay, now to the winners. First of all, I want to tell you guys, um, Renee Bach, I still have your prize here from um, last week or the week before, whenever you won this. And, um, you know, you got a couple weeks to let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to give it away to somebody else. So, Renee Bach, I need you to contact me with your address. And somebody just asked me a question. Um, and I missed it. It already scrolled through. So, if you want to ask that question again, I'll try to answer it. Okay, we have the winner from last week for um, comments is Jan Carstensen. And Janny, I know you're watching tonight. I have some white perfect accents for you. I'm going to drop those in the mail. Now, you can color these with the Stampin' Blend alcohol markers any color you want. So they're pretty fun. Or you can leave them clear. They're neat clear, too. Hi, Ruth. Welcome. I'm going to see you tomorrow night at Stamp Club. Yay! <laughs> um, then we have our winner. Oh, that's something different. Our winner from um, da -da 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 -da, for sharing the video, we have the lovely floral dynamic embossing folder. And our winner for that is, I know she's watching tonight, Heather Kohler. You won this. Woohoo! Yay, you. And then, um, for placing an online order, everybody also gets um, put into a drawing. Oh, thanks, Kim. Yeah, I got my nails. They're, um, they're like lemon lime twist green with glitter in them. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yes, and orders start for the holiday mini catalog on September 5th. Thank you, Carrie, for telling me that so I could announce that. Um, this is the prize for online orders, and the winner of that is... K. Allen from Turlock, California. So congratulations, you guys. I will get all these out in the mail tomorrow. And remember, um, share my video. It's Wendy Menashe's M-E-N-A-S-H-A, -A, Wisconsin. Um, remember to share my video. You'll get entered in a drawing. Please make sure if you just came on, that you make some type of a comment. Tell me where you're coming from. You have to comment at least once on here. Type something in there so you can get entered in the um, drawing for comments. And then also there's another drawing, the third drawing for anybody who places an online order with me. You get entered into a drawing too for the week. So thank you guys so much. And let's see. Um, don't forget when you're placing your online orders to use this host code. You can also find it in the right hand column on my blog. It's always there. This is the August code. You want to use that because that helps me get more free stuff to give you. That's what we're doing there. Okay, I already showed you my swaps. I already asked you to share because sharing is caring. Who said that last week? I thought that was so clever. Sharing is caring. I love that. Okay, what else do I need to tell you? I think we need to start stamping. What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Hi, Donna from Louisiana. And Janelle from, nope, who just went Oklahoma? Oh, it's going too fast for me. Oh, there it is. Dana from Oklahoma. Woohoo! Okay, um, 
let me get my baskets. Ooh, I'm gonna roll over here. And I am gonna do this one first. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna try a new thing. Oh, hi from Nakusa, I missed your name. Who was that? Connie, hi from Nakusa, you're close. Hi Colleen, welcome. Um, I am going to flip my camera now. Before I used to take my camera out and turn it all the way around. Tonight, I'm just gonna turn it down. So I think that's gonna be an easier transition. But when I was practicing earlier, um, my phone flipped out of my um, holder and oh, it was a whole calamity and oh my Lord. So stick with me. If we get disconnected, just click on the title of my of my Facebook page and scroll down to find the live for seven or eight nineteen. The date is the 19th today. Okay, hang tight. This is gonna be a smooth transition. How did I do? I gotta wait until it comes on my screen now. And I do have my phone plugged in. Yay! Oh, but now I'm upside down. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Okay, hang on you guys. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. I'm gonna turn my phone around because it's not gonna work. I'm upside down now. Hang on. So I thought I was such a smarty pants and I was gonna have something that was gonna work really good. And it's not. Okay, so I have to change my mirroring. Do you guys notice that um, my um, lighting is brighter tonight, don't you think? I found this little light setting for Facebook Lives in the settings portion of it. And thanks, Sharon. <laughs> I do uh, like to get some giggles. Um, anyways, I found this little little um, setting where I can brighten up my video. So I'm kind of excited about that too because I hate it when it's all dark and crummy. Okay, first off. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Hang on. I have some more love to share with you. So I usually show you guys what I got. Is this the right way? Yes. I usually usually show you guys what I got for cards or what I made during the week. And this is one of the cards that I made. I cased this. It's right in the catalog on the same page with the Friendly Expression stamp set. We're going to be using that again tonight. But I really, really love the fonts in here. So um, this is brush show in the background. And then I use the new lace, the delicate lace edgelets on this card. And we're going to use those again tonight too. And then, if you remember, we did that. Oh, let me grab it. Hang on. I know where it is. It's right here. Um, I made this apple card. Isn't that cute? It's great for teachers. I didn't see my Haley come on yet, did she? Because um, I'm going to send her this card, and I really didn't want to show it to her first. <laughs> um, anyways. So this is that picked for you stamp set of apples. So that was really cute. But look at this. <gasps> Peaches and a pie. Isn't that cute? So I just took and instead of making apples, I made peaches out of that stamp set. And I love when I can do something different with the stamp set than what it's intended for. I don't know. I just get a big kick out of it. So that's what I did. <clears throat> I don't know what else I made this week because I don't have everything here, I don't think. Oh, I can't show you these because they're going to be in the blog hop that goes live at 7.45 tonight. But I have some exciting cards. So um, this card I got, yep, this is from Sharon Jones. And Sharon is watching tonight. Sharon, this is a beautiful card. And she said on her note, um, case your card with what I had on hand. Hope you like it. Hugs, Sharon. And this is the Avant Garden and the Pendant Painted. And isn't that just pretty? I love it when you guys are taking these ideas and, you know, using your own product to modify, copy them exactly if you want. But I just love that. That makes me feel like what I'm doing is worthwhile. So, well, not that it's not worthwhile, but you know what I mean. So that's from Sharon in Louisiana. And then I received this card. From Shannon West she is um, our Stampin Up employee and for those of you that are demonstrators you know who Shannon West is 
So this is the card I got from her. Congratulations. And you guys, this is a sneak peek. This is using the new paper out of the Holiday Mini Catalog, and it's a pearlized specialty designer paper. And also these little um, elements, I don't know what they're called, but I hope you can see them because they are super, super cool. And it says, Dear Kelly, congratulations on your advancement to platinum. Holy cow, that's so amazing. You are a special kind of star. Enjoy your moment. Well, really, it's much more than that. So enjoy being awesome. Love, Shannon West. So that was a cute card from her. This is also another little sneak peek. This is our braided um, trim. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I'll get all these all these new product names down, but I've used a lot of this for my swaps, and I love, love, love it. So anyways, card from Shannon West. You guys remember that I promoted to Platinum um, a while back, and uh, that was nice to get a card in the mail from her, and that's always exciting when you get mail from Stampin' Up, right? Okay, back to our card. Um, we are using Pop of Petals and Friendly Expressions for this first card that I'm making tonight, and... This is the Delicate Lace Edulet dies, and I have to, I don't know if Deb An Anol, I always say her last name wrong, is watching, but big shout out to Deb because I needed to make a video on Friday, um, well, this video, where I used this edulet right here, and um, my edulets, I ordered them, but they weren't coming until Saturday, so I put a call out on my um, demonstrator team page for my team, and I said, does anybody have these that's in the area that I could borrow them? And bless her heart, Deb said she was leaving to go someplace, but she put them out on her porch. And I just ran over to her house and picked them up. So these are actually her um, edgelets. And the ones that I got in the mail on Saturday, I put in her bag to give her the brand new pair. So I really appreciate her letting me use these. But these are kind of missed in the catalog. Like, I didn't order them until I just um, got them yesterday. I didn't really see them, you guys. And that's highly unusual for me because I usually comb through this baby several times. But I just wanted to show you where they are because I didn't really notice them. They're on page 217 right here. And like I have everything else in this catalog, but for some reason I missed those. And let me tell you, they are not to be missed because they're amazing. So I am going to, oh, I'm going to get out this punch. This is our four petal flower punch where that goes with the pop of petals stamp set. And we are going to be using this big edgelet die right here. And now I also have two other cards um, using these other edgelets, but I think I'm going to save those for next week Facebook Live because I have enough stuff to show you tonight. So I'm kind of ahead of the game and that just makes me giddy. It never happens to me. Never. So I'm pretty excited and a little proud of myself, I might add. All right, I'm going to grab my big shot here. And let's see, I'm not watching my, um, oh, Joyce. Oh, no, who said they just bought them? They're on Sue's wish list. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Um, you guys, you got to get them. They're amazing. I don't, I don't understand how I miss them, but I'm so glad that I have them. Okay, I'm going to dump out my card packet here, so hang tight. Set this up over here so I know what the heck I'm doing. All right, first of all, whoops, um, yeah, first of all, I've got some rich razzleberry here, and this rich razzleberry is five and a half by four and a quarter, so it's just a quarter sheet. Oh yeah, Sharon, I did send you a card using the four petal punch. It is a great punch and stamp set. So now I'm just going to, can you guys see this okay? It's so hard for me to see what I'm doing and, and talk and it's like chewing gum and what do they say? I don't know. Patting your belly and chewing. I don't know. Anyways, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> we'll just put it right there. Okay. I'm going to center this from side to side. I'm going to put it pretty close to the edge without going off the edge. And then I'm going to run this through. And so when I first used these edgelets, I'm like, oh my Lord, it's going to be like pokey pokey city on here because you're going to have to poke out all of these things and it's going to drive me crazy. And I know I've said this many times 
that if I have to putz around with like a pokey tool and poking all these out, I would poke my eyes out, right? <laughs> Let's just say it like it is. I would absolutely poke my eyes out. But I love, love these dies that don't give you a hard time like that. So <laughs> watch this. Oh, I know, I gotta do this. Look at that, look at, that's all that's left in there. And they're gone. All the little pieces are out. But you still have to contend with this, right? And I always like to get all the little pieces out so that the next time I go to use this die, it's ready to roll. And so we'll just do this. And if you don't have a die brush, you think this is not a necessity, but if you find yourself not using these intricate dies that you have invested in because they're pain in the butt, which, I mean, if they don't, if you got to poke all that stuff out, oh my Lord, ugh, I would hate that. You like my sound effects. Um, yes, Wendy, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. That's what I was trying to come up with. Thank you very much. But anyways, with this die brush, this is super, super simple. So... Get yourself one of these if you don't have one. It's it's kind of a must have. It's as important as your big shot, I would say. Okay, isn't that just pretty? I absolutely love this. Now, here's what we're gonna do with it. We're gonna bring in the rest of our layers. We've got a layer that is, this is Whisper White, and it's two and a quarter by five and a half. I've got a thick Whisper White card base that is five and a half, by eight and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. So I'm just going to fold this in half and burnish it with my bone folder. There we go. And we've got two pieces of our silver glimmer paper. Now this is the new stuff. Look it, there is no shedding of um, glitter from this new glimmer paper. It's amazing. I'm in love with it. Of course, I'm in love with it, right? And you're like, oh my God, she's in love with everything. I am. <laughs> I love my I love my products. Okay, first thing we're going to do here is we are going to take the congratulations from the Friendly Expression stamp set, and we're going to ink that up in some rich raspberry. Shelby agrees with me. The dye brush is necessary. It's a necessity. It is a necessity. Hi, Deb. I, I've got your framelits I'm going to bring back to you, or your edgelets. Mine came in yesterday, so I'm giving you mine, and uh, I'm keeping yours. <laughs> I figured it was um, only fair to give you the new ones, right? So I can see here, you guys, I don't know if you're having this problem with your ink pads right now. Probably not, because you probably um, live in central air, but I do not have my air conditioning on. And what I'm seeing is that this is kind of blotchy. And what's happened here, do you see how blotchy that is? It shouldn't look like that. My ink pad, because of the humidity level here in Wisconsin and in my house, because I don't have my air conditioning on, my ink pad is too juicy. So I am just going to take some wadded up tissues and I'm gonna blot some of that ink right out of there. And now we're gonna stamp, whoops, hang on, I just stuck my finger in it. We're gonna stamp this greeting again without all that ink in there that's making it distorted is a good way to put it. Let's make sure I have it up right side up here. Okay, let's try that again. Look at how much cleaner that is. So if you are having this problem, that's what's wrong. To, if, if you don't have your central air on, these ink pads, when it gets really humid, they like are too juicy. Just dab some ink out of them and then they stamp nicely. See the difference? Make sure that's not showing through from the other side. Yeah, clean and crisp and beautiful. Okay. Who got a chamois in the last week? You guys know that I'm a huge fan of these chamois. Who ordered a chamois in the last week? Oh, hey, Kathy, this is Rich Razzleberry. I'm using Rich Razzleberry ink. All right, then I need a scrap. And so that I wouldn't use this for this layer, I wrote scrap right on there. Pretty smart, right? <laughs> Too much ink will do that. Yes, it is humid in Louisiana. That's why I'm telling you guys this. Okay, so what I do with this pop of petals stamp set 
is as I'm using these different flowers, I've gone in and I figured out which way to stamp the flower so the punch comes right in at, on the right, you know, petal or whatever you want to call it because these are not perfectly four same petals. Does that make sense? So I figured it out and I put an arrow on the back of my stamp so that I know when I'm holding it, my arrow should go up. I don't want to stamp it like this because my punch needs to come into it like that. Does that make sense? Okay, you guys are loving the chamois. Okay, it's dry. Oh yeah, I'll bet, Linda, you have to put moisture in your chamois. Mm -hmm. No doubt. I'm going to stamp two of these flowers, and this is kind of the watercolorish looking image. There's a whole bunch of different flowers in here. I've used this one and this one. You could, if you have some, you can color in if you want. This one, there's also a butterfly that fits this punch, and then some elements to stamp um, in the backgrounds. But I'm using this watercolor image because I don't know, I like watercolor images. And now when I bring my punch in, it's going to fit perfectly on these flowers. There's one. I shouldn't have cleaned it yet, though, because I think i got to stamp one on the inside. Here's number two. And I'm going to bring in some dimensionals. I'm going to put a dimensional. Whoops, hang on. I got one of my hairs stuck on there. <laughs> and put your fingernail in the middle to lift those edges up. And then I'm going to put this one right on top of that one. Yay! And I do need to stamp one on the inside of my card because you guys know I like to decorate the inside of my cards. So I got to do that. And I'm just stamping one flower. Here we're stacking the flowers to make them look all full and beautiful. Here we're just going to leave that nice and simple. Just one flower stamped on the inside. Are you ready for the beautifulness that is about to happen? <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of liquid glue here. And I'm going to glue my flower down right here. I'm going to put these silver little tiny pieces on the edge of my card. Now here's how I did it. You know that glue doesn't like to, you know what, I think I, maybe I should use mini glue dots. Glue does not like to stick to that um, glimmer paper. It doesn't stick to glitter well. You know, you know exactly what I'm meaning, what I mean. So I'm going to use some mini glue dots right at the top of this layer and then I'm going to come in here and I only want to see about maybe half of this strip, half or less. Does that look pretty straight? Yep, that looks pretty darn good. Oh, you know what though? It's coming off this end down here. That's not going to make me happy, so just hang on. Here we go. We're going to try that again. You guys know I'm kind of anal about stuff like that. Hey Shelby, did you see the um, stamping event that I posted about in Nilsville coming up on October 6th? Arliss corrected me because I was wrong. That's over your way. That would be very, very fun. 18 cards. Mm, sounds like a blast, doesn't it? Okay, now I'm going to use some mini glue dots here on the bottom and do the same thing. Now I'm keeping those really, really close to the edge of this layer. And then I like to look at them this way so I can see just what is going on, right? There we go, okay. Here we go. I did not glue the top part of this edgelet. I did not put any glue on there and I did it on purpose because I think this is a super, super cool look. I'm like, what did I do here? Yeah, okay, so I gotta figure this out. I do this stuff on purpose. Make a card ahead of time so I can figure out what I'm doing and I don't get so confused when I am with you guys live. Okay, and then we're gonna put glue on the back of here. And this is gonna go right here. Oh my gosh, you guys. What do you think? Is that not gorgeous? Beautimous, right? Yeah, loving that. All right, there you go. Here's one. 
and Bermuda Bay. So I've got Rich Razzleberry, Bermuda Bay. Super easy card to make. And um, what am I going to use this for? Well, I've got some things going on in my team that I can congratulate people for. The next time somebody has something great happen for them, I can do that. My neighbor across the street just got a big award for, she's a crunch fitness um, instructor, and she just got a big award down in Florida. I could give this to her, just about anything. Anybody who has something great going on, right? Thanks, you guys, for the love. I appreciate that. All right, are we ready for the next card? I think we are ready to keep going here. Let me put this stuff away, or at least get it out of my way. What are we going to make next? Uh, oh, I know. This is what we're going to do next. So, I know that it's August, but we have a stamp set that is only good till August 31st. And one of the things that the stamp set has in it is fall and Christmas stamps, which seems a little weird to be doing fall and Christmas right now, but it is, it is time. So I'm gonna show you a beautiful, beautiful card with the, hang on, let me get these out here. Blended Seasons Bundle. And we've got all these fabulous, fabulous dies in here. I'll just pull this out quick. I know I showed it to you last week. Does all of these fun little dies, and then it has some layering images in it. And the negative also has stitching around it, so you can use this, which you've seen me do. And I'll show you some sample cards when I'm done making this beautiful fall card or masculine card. This, could, this would be a great masculine card, too. So where's the rest of my stamp set? Oh, here it is. Stamp set's so big it comes in two containers. And um, the whole bundle has the blended seasons and the stitched seasons framelits. And then also with this promotion, you can get your hands on these new assortment number two watercolor pencils. And they, I'm missing some out of here, but they are beautiful, beautiful new colors. I have some in a bin over here because we've been using them for the card buffet. Okay, here we go. I am going to take a piece of eight and a half by five and a half Mary Merlot. This is, oh, and then I got fresh fig ink out. That's not what I need. <laughs> Wrong. Mary Merlot is what I need. So I've just folded that in half and scored it. And then I've got, this is the smallest, um, I don't know, what would you guys call this? cloud image or whatever. I don't know what to call it, but this is the smallest of the three. And I've already die cut a piece out of our very vanilla um, cardstock. And who just said, Leanna just said that it's blurry. Um, I am watching it on my Facebook page and it's not blurring up for me. It's, oh, there's a little blur. Oh my gosh, I hate this. So there's nothing I can do about that except keep your fingers crossed that it stays clear more than it does blurry. There's nothing I can do about it. That is the internet gods are playing with things tonight. That's what's happening because I have a good internet connection here. So I do see that it's kind of getting a little blurry. Okay, so I cut this out of very vanilla cardstock and I'm just going to take my Mary Merlot. Mm. There we go. I had it tipped a little wrong. And I'm going to stamp the greeting in here that says, wishing you all the best. Isn't that pretty? Who has this Blended Seasons bundle? If you have the bundle, say, I have it. I love to see how many people have this because I think it's fabulous. Then I'm gonna take, I've got two pieces of very vanilla here. These are both the same size, four by five and a quarter. One of them, I'm using um, Sahara Sand ink here, and this is the leaf images. And I'm just going to stamp right here. And let's see, I'll do another one right here, okay? And then I'm going to also stamp the inside, just like that. So we can put this piece right on the inside 
of our card. This is the bundle that I have an online class coming out on Saturday, um, August 25th. Then I took this leaf, little leafy um, image thing, and I die cut two out of our gold glimmer paper. And of course, through the magic of TV, I have already done that. <laughs> I love it when I can do that because it just really saves me a lot of time. And, and if there's something that I'm doing on the big shot that I want you to see, I'll show it to you. But most of the time, it's just pretty standard, right? And then I've got a piece of Mary Merlot that I am going to die cut this cute little leaf out of. And again, through the magic of TV, I already have that. And isn't that pretty? This is all that same bundle. I'm not doing anything, using anything different here than the bundle. Okay, then I'm going to take this. I've got two pieces of our metallic edged ribbon. And this is the gold metallic edged ribbon. We have gold and silver, and I'm bringing in a little bit of tape, and I'm going to take two pieces just like this, and this is just a neat little way to add ribbon to your card front. Let's see if I can do both of these at the same time. I did it! When I made this card, I had a heck of a time doing that. So you could use two pieces of tape and do each separately. That would be okay, too. And I'm just taping these on. You can use regular tape, you can use mini glue dots, whatever you happen to have. But don't try to use your um, tape runner to do this to your ribbon because they, they, they won't hold together. It'll fall apart. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to dry fit this. And I'm going to make sure that these little gold leaves aren't hanging over the side of the card so it won't fit in an envelope, right? Because that's kind of important. We want everything to fit in an envelope. And then I'm going to put this one right down here. Whoops. Right down here. So what are you guys drinking tonight? What's your beverage of choice on this beautiful Sunday night? Yeah, Shelby, thank you. I'm really glad that Stampin' Up! has these bundle offers too because um, I, I like... I like stamp sets like this. It's This is a very versatile stamp set. You can do a lot of stuff with it. And it's nice that it's, you know, here in August when there's not really a lot going on, you know? There's not a lot going on in August, really. Okay, next I'm going to um, put some dimensionals on the back here. And I'm just, I'm using four dimensionals. I know that seems like a lot, but I want to make sure this doesn't go anyplace. Put your fingernail in the middle to pop those edges up. Blue Kool-Aid. Root beer and lots of ice. Yeah, I need a drink. I've got my beautiful cup that my husband gave me for my anniversary. I love, love, love that cup. And um, I've got Pepsi. Yes, I am naughty and I am drinking Pepsi. And it is what it is, right? Here we go. Look at this. And now I felt like this needed one more little touch. Let me put this on my card front so you can see it in all its beauty. What do you guys think of that? Yeah? One more thing? I'm going to add this leaf to the front. My Mary Merlot leaf. And I just put a couple dots of glue on there. That's going to kind of set everything off, and there we go. I love this. Thank you. Thank you for the love. I was so happy when I came up with this card, because I'm like, wow, that's really pretty. <laughs> Not that, you know, I don't make pretty cards, but you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you just don't know how things are going to turn out, and then they do, and then you're pleasantly surprised. And... I've got a pile of cards here to show you using this same stamp set. So, hang on. Let me get this all my junk out of the way here. And we'll get this out of the way. Okay, so remember this. This is embossed with white embossing powder, and I colored this with our Stampin' Blends on black cardstock. How about this one? This is really cute, and this has got the copper trim on it, again, with the same leaf set. 
and the framelits to cut these out. Oh, and don't forget, stamp up your envelopes. Look at this, I just stamped up the flap. Isn't that cute? Goes perfectly, right? Yeah, don't forget to do that. Then this is the negative of this bigger image that's on here. So now I'm using what I would normally throw away with the beautiful flowers. So this one and this one are the same stamps. This is the beautiful flowers, and this is the one that um, Sharon used a different flower set to make and a different doily, and she did a fabulous job. And again, don't forget to stamp your envelope in some, some manner. Here's another leaf card. Isn't this cute? Love that. Oh, there's my envelope. I don't want to lose all this stuff. Let's see, I've got a whole bunch of Christmas. Oh, here's just here's just that leaf, that beautiful little leaf in gold glimmer paper. That's really pretty. And this uses that subtle embossing folder. I have not used that yet for any of my videos. I need to get that out. So there's another leaf card. Here's another with the flowers. And another with the flowers. Beautiful. And another with the flowers in the background. And then we have Christmas. Now you guys, this is crazy that all these cards are made with one bundle. Look at, I love the little swirlies. I love all the little elements. They gold embossed the ivy behind on the early espresso layer. Isn't that just beautiful? Who made this? Meg Holland. Another Christmas. 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 Yeah, Shelby, I know what you mean. Using those negatives like that is awesome. And it's fabulous that the negative, once you cut this out, has the stitching on it too. So it's not a throwaway piece. And another Christmas. All of these cards with this bundle. I mean, that's crazy. That shows me how versatile it is and how much use I would get, I am going to get, out of a stamp set or a bundle like this because it has so many different um, elements in it. Spring, summer, fall, Christmas. It's awesome. Okay, guys. I am going to set that over there and put these away. I've got a really cool technique to show you now. Um, where did my framelits go? I don't want to lose any of these. I lost something yesterday. I could not find it. To, oh my gosh, it made me crazy. And then I can't remember now what it was and where I found it, but it was someplace really stupid. Like, oh, of course. <laughs> All right, we are going to be doing a really cool technique. I've got Pacific Point and Bermuda Bay ink here. Yes, Kathy, one bundle spans multiple seasons. It's just like it's the best of the best. I'm using the Sea of Textures and the Under the Sea Framelits for this really cool technique. I've got some copper metallic thread that we're going to be using. A water spritzer <clears throat> and some sponge daubers. Oh, and then I gotta show you something else. Hang on. I just cracked this open. This is the Darling Label Punch Box. How cute is this? Mmm. Well, Ruthann, um, yeah, it is a shame that you're not going to be able to buy them after this month, but it's fine because those people that want to get them will have them and be able to use the, um, the Color Your Seasons bundle forever. So it's okay. All right, so this is the, what did I call this? The Darling Label Punch Box. Super, super cute. And this is on page 45 I think or page 209 in the big catalog and this is one of those little kits that are awesome it comes with a block so it's got a block in here you can give this as a gift it's got this whole stamp set and I stamped all these out so you could see them 
We've got happy birthday friend, congratulations rock star, best wishes, thanks, hello, and thinking of you. And it comes with two ink spots, a night of navy and a grapefruit grove. And then this fabulous little punch. And that's what we're going to be using on our card. Oh, and it comes in this awesome tin. This is a tin container to hold it. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Nope, I understand what you're saying, Ruth Ann. It's not, you're not going to be able to show it at future workshops and swaps. But you know what? If we didn't continue to um, cycle through product, everybody would have everything they need and we wouldn't be able to sell anything as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So I'm very grateful for Stampin' Up! for having a monthly promotion like they did in August when sales are usually pretty slow. That's to help us out. And, you know, people need to get it or they're going to miss out. And that's also to help us out. So, you know, there's there's the there's the really good side and then the side that's not so great. And um, unfortunately, yeah, that's just the way it goes. <laughs> okay, I've got Bermuda Bay here. This is four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half. And where's my card? So I know what I'm doing. Then I've got a piece of Whisper White, and that is four and three quarters by three and a half. A piece of our copper foil, and I put punch on it so I don't forget to punch on it. This piece is four or five by three and three quarters. And then I've got a white scrap and a piece for the inside, which is four by five and a quarter. Okay. This is a really, really cool little technique, and I'm excited to show it to you. I'm going to stamp with the Darling Label Punch Box stamp first, and I'm using the Pacific Point ink here. Yeah, Michelle, um, my piercing mat, I just put um, copier weight paper around it and tape it in place so that I don't get ink all over it. But yeah, I love using these for stamping. Okay, that turned out pretty darn good. Then we're going to bring this darling little punch in and punch that out. I'm just going to center it right there, punch that out. And then before I forget and glue this down, I'm also going to punch one out of my copper because that's just going to be a layer on our card. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to bring in my snail adhesive. And I'm using this because on the shiny paper, this just works really well, the snail versus liquid glue. And that's why we have several different adhesive options at our fingertips, because some work better on some things and some on others, right? And I just like using a tape runner with foil paper. Oops, I'm trying to get that. Mm spaced out equally. So I'm just making like a layer behind this to make it pop a little bit. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put some dimensionals on here. And I'm going to set this aside now. Fold my card base in half and burnish that edge. I can put this right on there. I've got a glue bottle that's almost empty, I think. I'll have to get it. Oh, oh <laughs> don't you hate it when you do stuff like that? I better take a drink. That was stressful. Yeah, there's no alcohol in here. <laughs> if anybody's tuning in to us late, please share my video. You can click on the share button right now. I really appreciate all the shares. That really helps me out. Okay, here we go with our technique. Um, Bermuda Bay and Pacific Point. I've got daubers here. And you guys know you can wash these daubers out when you're done using them and um, use them in different colors because that's exactly what I did. I used daubers earlier this last week for something and I rinsed them out and used them again. Okay, 
I'm going to do my Bermuda Bay first. Our daubers are really nice. They have a hole in the end of them, so you can put your finger in there to help you control them. And uh, that's wonderful. Yeah, Suzette wants bigger tubes of glue. I know what you mean, Suzette. Okay, I'm just going to go around here and add some color onto, this is just whisper white paper. There's nothing, it's not glossy, it's not shimmery, it's just whisper white. And what I'm doing here is I'm making a water background. I think you guys are gonna be pretty impressed with what I do with this. Now, I'm putting a lot more Bermuda on this than I am the um, Pacific Point. And the reason being is that Pacific Point is like a really dark color. And um, yeah, it'll kind of take over your card. Okay, Ruth Ann, I understand what you're saying, but for the most part, it is good for everybody. And um, yeah, you know, sorry. But um, you, if you, you didn't have to buy it. So um, that's kind of the way that goes. Okay. Now, I'm kind of dissipating this ink a little bit when I kind of do it like this. And I'm just trying to tone down these kind of globs that I put on here because I don't necessarily want those. But they'll be okay. All right. There we go. So you kind of want this to be a pretty, pretty vibrant color. And I think I've achieved that here. Now, this is the really cool part. Here we go. Spritzer. Now, any spritzer will work, but a Stampin' Up! spritzer gives you a nice, fine mist, and that's what you want to make sure you have is a nice, fine mist. I'm just going to mist my stamp and bring it right in here and stamp it. Yep, it just looks like water, and it doesn't look like much of anything right now, but hang tight, and I'm going to do it again. And then I'm gonna come in with some more. Now as this dries, it's gonna leave these images on my water background. And they are going to be pretty cool. I guarantee it. There comes a little coral down there. And I'm drying it off on a paper towel. This is called water stamping. And I'm just drying it off on a paper towel each time because it picks up some ink from the card. You see what I'm talking about? Just dry it on here. Now I'm going to come back with this image and put some more of these little weedy things. I don't know what to call them. Weeds. In here. And wipe it off. And do it again. Okay. So it's not still not looking like much of anything, right? Give it some time. Now I've got Frank, and I'm just inking Frank up here, or I mean wetting him with water, and here we go. All right, so you can take this and hit it with the heat tool, or you can just set it aside and let it dry. And because it does take some drying time, I'm going to bring this one in. Can you see what's happened here? I hope this is showing up good. It's called water stamping. And I did this with um, another stamp set a few years ago. And I just ran across it again today and I thought, oh my gosh, the background looks like water, like the ocean. And wouldn't this be cool with the sea of textures? And now remember, this particular bundle of products, the sea of textures and the under the sea framelits, is the online class that I just released on Saturday that's on my blog. So I love, love, love this stamp set. Oh, look it, it's coming around. It's getting, it's getting nice and dark. So the thing is, is that you wanna kinda use a vibrant dark background to make this pop when you stamp with the water. And it's just really funny how it just takes the ink away, isn't it? Yeah, strange. Okay, which one is the one? Oh, this is the this is the wetter one. I'm like, which, which one did I just make? All right, so I'm gonna finish up this card. And because that background is so cool looking, 
all you need to do here is just do a little bit here with the greeting. And here comes that um, copper thread. Who's loving this so far? Are you guys learning something that you've never seen? Because that's always my goal when I'm, you know, watching videos is to learn something that I haven't seen before. I love that. And here comes this little piece. So, what I'm gonna do here is I am going to lay this down here, just like that. I'm gonna kind of pull it in here. Now you need to catch this somehow, right? So, I need another hand. <laughs> I'm gonna come in here like this, and I think I am going to, let me get that back there. Oh, it keeps sticking to me. I think I'm just gonna put a dimensional like right there. Yep, that's a good idea. It might be kind of in my way, but that's okay. Nope, it looks like it's gonna be just fine. Okay, so there's that. Then the other thing that I wanted to do, and I probably should have not stuck this down yet, you guys, I kind of jumped the gun on that. So hang tight, I'm just gonna pop it up. If you pop these up, it tore it a little bit, but I'm gonna cover it right up, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take a little bit of this copper trim, and if you guys have watched any of my videos with this stuff, you know that I love to pull this apart, and it looks like netting, and I don't know, it just reminds me of mermaids and just some beautiful things. I think my friend Lori made a beautiful card with that mermaid set and a bunch of this for the um, the netting and it just it was stunning. So now it reminds me of mermaids. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I am just going to take this and kind of push it up like this. Now I'm going to bring this in here and hopefully get it on here straight. Oh, that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to trim off some of these things that are just sticking out, the ends of my copper. Okay, you guys, what do you think of that? Isn't that fun? I thought that was really fun. I've got a little bit of stamping to do on the inside here. And I'm just gonna put a couple of these tall leafy things. And then, where did that, oh, here comes that coral. And I'm gonna bring that coral in. I'm gonna do this in the blue. Yay! Let me get this cleaned off. I got a whole bunch of ink on there. It's kind of a mess. Put this on the inside of my card. Whoops, let's get my ink pads out of the way so I don't, you know, make a big disaster with those. Okay, there we go. Totally cool. This is a great card, right? Water stamping, it's called. And I'll try to remember to put a link to my other. I made a card using this technique a couple years ago, and it was um, using the Paisley stamp set. I think that's retired now. But it was, it was just a cool, a very cool card also. Okay, so let's take a look at what we did here. Oh, this was the first one. Look at this one. I used Blueberry Buckle instead of Pacific Point, and I thought it was just a little too bluish, so then I switched over to the Pacific Point. So this was the first one I made, trying to figure out how to do this and how I was going to get it done. Um, here's our other card using the Promotional Bundle colored Color Your Season. Here comes those beautiful lace edgelets, delicate lace edgelets, and the four petal flower punch. I hope you guys felt like it was worth your time tonight to be um, to join me for this Facebook Live. Please don't forget to share my video. You can push that share button right now. That really does help me out. And um, also. Look me up on YouTube. I have over 500 videos, tutorials on YouTube. And click that like button. That also helps me out in my rankings. All of that stuff is, eh, you know, it's all techie stuff. And 
whoops, nobody really wants to hear about it, but it is all really helpful. Remember, sharing is caring and share my video. <laughs> I really do appreciate it. I will be doing drawings for comments for sharing the video and also your online orders. Use this host code if your order is under $150 and you'll get some special perks from me. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code. You'll still get special perks from me, but you'll get $15 in free money to spend if your order is $150. You'll get $15 to spend from Stampin' Up! And I'll still give you my perks, so you don't have to worry about that. Um... Anybody have any questions that I missed? Thank you, Linda. Thank you so much, Jody. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited about next week, you guys. I'm using the other two um, of these delicate lace framelits. I'm gonna I'm gonna be using this one and this one, and a cool technique. You're gonna love the cards that I have scheduled for next week. And then I'm also going to be doing a one sheet wonder here pretty soon. I've been doing a little research because I, you know, I need to figure out a template. That's not something that I feel comfortable just jumping into without a little more prep time. So don't forget the August promotion. Um, I have a blog hop on my blog right now. You guys can check that out, www.astampabub.com. And I'm looking for questions, and I don't see any other questions, so I'm going to call it a night. I've taken up enough of your Sunday evening. Thank you so much for joining me from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Good night.